Hello Alchemy Tubers and welcome back to Let's Play Might and Magic 6 The Mandate of Heaven with me, Blue Ankylon. So in our last episode we uh, we went through the Smuggler's Den or whatever they called it, Shadow Guild I think that was the name, and we rescued a girl and took her back to New Sorpagal. So uh, that was fun, yeah we had a good time. In other good news we got a Gate Master who's that creepy looking dude with the beard over on the side looking at us right now. So yeah, he's going to take some of our money whenever we get loot, but yeah, we're going to use him to great effect early on, because through him we can get to much further distances, uh, new towns that normally you couldn't get to or would be very difficult to get to for quite a while. And um, you would need air master, no sorry, water master level um, magic to do the same thing that he can do which would happen to require 12 points in water and to be master, which is not necessarily easy to get. So, um, that's the back news for last episode. Now for this episode, there's a couple things I want to do. For one, I decided, as I was thinking about things, that I'm going to save those Iron Fist dungeons for a little bit later. Uh, they're a little bit hard right now. There's a couple new areas we could go to. For one, we can go to that bootleg bay, which is north of Castle Iron Fist. That place isn't too bad, so maybe I'll go there next, as far as proper things. The other thing is, since we've got a gate master, we can fly to new towns, uh, teleport to new towns, and look for some loot and maybe some trainers, because I think I still have some skills. Uh, I should get merchant right away, actually. I think I know where we can get um, commander trained up in expert merchant. Uh, there should be... We could actually get shield right now. I should do that too. Expert shields. I know we could get expert mace somewhere. Expert body magic we can go do right now though. And is there anything here? Air magic. Where's the air magic? Isn't there one? I think there should be one in New Sorpagal. How are um, you? We've got fire. Hi. We got earth. Let's see. What else have we got laying around? How are you? Spirit. How are you? Mind and body. Hi. All right, so here you go, Pyro. Thousand okay. bucks. You're a little bit better. I thought the other two elements were around as well. The uh, air. I hope they're not like up in that kind of flying, floating house. Um, where could they be? That was like perception and disarm up there. Out of my way, woman. Um, doo -doo -doo. Were, they, were they over here? Good day. No. Good Sorry, day. guys. I thought. Uh, yeah, this is the girl we saved. That's cool. Um, I thought there was... Mm, maybe we'll have to go back to Mist or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll get you uh, We'll get you air expert before Long Dawes. Don't worry. Um, anyway, the first thing for today that I really wanted to get to is we're going to do a little bit of potion brewing. Now, this is a dangerous sort of thing. Uh, I'm going to make a new slot just for it. Um, because it's dangerous. That's why you're alchemy tubers, by the way. So potion brewing. Now, if you check your auto notes, it will help us keep track of stuff. So it shows you the basic colors, red, blue, yellow, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Those are primary colors. They're not composed of any other. And then you've got intermediate colors, orange, green, and purple. Those should all be fairly obvious on how to craft. So we're not going to need to look those up. But the white potions are the next tier. And you have to add two of the above. Now. I'm not sure if it's always an intermediate plus a primary, but that seems to be what it's doing here. Uh, there probably is combinations of two intermediates as well, but um, that's what we're going to have to test out. So, first off, what I can see here is we've already done orange and yellow, orange and blue. Let's try orange and red and see what happens. I just saved it, so uh, let's give it a shot. Uh, I, don't ha I have an orange and a red. It worked. It worked! Amazing! Heroism, another, another potion. So um, you can see that'll add to our list. And now we have orange plus red, orange plus blue, orange plus yellow. So we've got most of the orange ones already. I should try orange plus purple and orange plus green just to see if they will work. Uh, and I'm also going to continue saving it. No reason, no reason. So we have to make an orange one now. So this is why I've been buying all this stuff. Success. Um, orange. It worked. This. It worked. Orange plus green. It worked. Kazaa! Another success. Wow, orange is just the nicest color. <laughs> so far, we haven't blown anything up yet. So, um, what's the other one? Orange plus purple, I imagine. 
Well, seeing as we've got orange plus everything up, there's no way this is going to work. <laughs> there's just no way. <laughs> orange, one more. Success. Success. There you go. Orange plus purple. There you go. Oops. Sorry, Dawes. Took a little bit of damage. That wasn't too bad, though, right? He's going to be our potion brewer, so I'll try to keep him alive. Uh, I wonder if we can... There you go. You can drink from the fountain again, too. That'll help. Okay, now, the, the, the only sad thing about the auto notes is it doesn't keep track of failed recipes, so you just have to keep in mind we have tested all the orange combinations now, at least as far as whites are concerned. We're going to start combining the white potions soon enough. So let's go to, um, we've done orange, let's switch to all the green potions next. So we already know green and blue, as well as green and orange, of course. So let's try green and red and green and yellow to fill up the rest of those possibilities green yellow it worked works got haste and we need another green so something like this success green and red right ah. boom all right so we got uh some information um so far the damage hasn't been that bad so um well, dawes is okay he's, he's trial by fire he's a fire mage to a large extent so he likes it right <laughs> All right, so green has almost been covered, except for the intermediate. So we did green and orange, now we need to do green and purple. That's the other intermediate combination. Hopefully this makes sense to you guys. I don't know. Uh, it worked. It's just following Success. color rules. So green and purple. It worked. Works. There you go. Restoration. That's a good one, actually. That's a really good potion. Um, all conditions unless you're dead or stone. So that's pretty handy. Haste works like the spell stone skin i mean a lot of these white potions are kind of random they just add either temporary stats or um or uh, uh some spell effect like uh like haste so okay that covers green so then the next color we're going to work with should be purple i imagine so we've already tested the purple combo the intermediates purple plus orange purple plus green but i think we'll need to do the purple plus primaries because i don't think we've done those yet um purple green purple orange must have blown up so i think we're safe to say let's do the uh the primaries that'll work just fine so purple plus yellow boom ouch okay just keep that in mind we've done purple yellow next up purple blue Success. there you go you got bless and we only have one more it left worked. it's Success. it worked sorry what we did purple now we need purple red and the last of the color. And that blew up as well. So purple doesn't seem like a very nice color. It's the uh, nastiest of colors so far. Anyway, that covers, that should cover, unless I've missed something foolishly, that should cover in the auto notes every possible white potion. Because I think we've done all the different combos. And I know from experience that white ones generally only have one or two successful uh, combinations to the next level, which is black. And black is where things get fun. So, um, I don't know which one we're going to start with. Let's do, uh, well, first let's save. Because this is where we're going to be loading, I think, if there's any loading to be done. So we've got a bunch of white potions. And if you're new to this, this might be a good point. Unless you want to just experiment yourself, this might be the time when you uh, switch to a guide. <laughs> so we've got one, bless, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine, unless... Oh, there's a duplicate in there. I've got two stone skins. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are they all different? Energy and resistance. Yeah, okay, so we've got eight different white potions. They should turn into eight different black ones, although we might get a couple extras. Now, the thing is, I don't remember exactly which ones are which. So what I'm going to do here Success. is try to make a couple Success. of each Success. Um, it worked. of the basics. Success. It worked. Although I'm actually going to need a couple Success. more. A little blue. Success. I'm out of bottles again. All right. Well, let's make a green. It worked. Yellow, blue, red, green, and Success. purple. And where's my orange? I still need... Success. All right, there we go. So that's one of each of these. So as far as I remember anyway, I've got a couple spares here. White potion plus one of these six should do something good. 
but I can't remember what, which combination. So let's save. I'm actually probably not going to have enough to do all this just today. So let's try bless plus yellow. Success. Wow, we got it first try. <laughs> Beautiful. So potion of accuracy. Plus 15 accuracy permanent, but also minus 5 luck permanent. That's a good deal. Let's keep that. Wow. Good luck. Good luck. Next. Um, I'll replace the yellow. Well, let's try. Let's just go to blue for supreme protection. That would be very surprising. Oh, I'm sorry, Dawes. <laughs> Bad luck on number two, so I'll probably just raise him from the dead by via loading. Um, <laughs> it actually blew up half his equipment too. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dawes. You're dead. You're you're actually minus 53. That did like 100 damage, so um, that's not so good. <laughs> No, no, danger, potion brewing, that's the one. All right, so let's try a different combo there. <laughs> let's try yellow. Well, it's really unlikely it's going to be two yellows in a row. Let's try red. Ah. Dang. So yeah, my apologies is going to take a little extra time. So that was yellow. Oh, no, we haven't done yellow. Success. It was ye two yellows in a row? Ridiculous. <laughs> All right, endurance, plus 15 to endurance, minus one from everything else. Another good one, because we like endurance a lot. And although we'll lose one, two, three, four, five, six stats, it'll still be plus 15 overall. The problem is I have to make four of these, but we'll know the potion recipe now because the, uh, the, the thing will keep track of it and I'll be able to make up four for everybody basically. Um, by the way, you can only use it once per person if you're wondering. You can't just load up on these forever. But yeah, now it keeps track of how to do this. So you need uh, Supreme Protection Yellow, Bless Plus Yellow. We've got those recipes already, so I can look this up anytime now. So let's save, let's continue learning the recipes. I might miss some because I'm not going to be trying the other supreme ones, but uh, whatever. Okay, there's no way it's going to be another yellow. <laughs> it worked. It's a intellect? Oh, Dawes. I gotta say, you've only died a couple times and you've got three potions. That's pretty darn good. Um, I, I promise you guys, there's not very many combinations that work here. Restoration plus health? That almost makes sense. Nope. Not so lucky. Okay, restoration plus green. Nope. Oops, sorry. I don't actually need to click because it saves the last one we, uh, keeps track. Restoration plus purple. Nope. Yeah, this, this is how it normally goes. Restoration plus orange. Success. And there you go. Divine cure. So this is one of our not stat boosting ones. Just adds hit points and makes you older. So it kind of sucks. As far as I'm concerned, you get one year of age to get some healing. It's, I don't think the hit points is max. Uh, uh, maybe we'll test it out later. I don't think that 100 hit points is like a permanent improvement at all. Alright, so maybe I should save again if I forgot. Next one, haste. Let's try red, why not? It worked. Wow. Wow. That was lucky again. Plus 15 speed, minus 5 personality. Could be worse. Let's continue on and try green on this one. No, it exploded. He survived! Well, I'm still going to load it because I don't have enough spare potions right now. So let's try purple. Also exploded. Didn't do as much damage though. Or maybe you're just getting used to explosion effects. <laughs> Success. Let's try yellow. No, nope, that one exploded. Good. Let's try red. It worked. Success. Red again. Good. Plus 15 might, minus 5 intel intellect. Bam, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And, I don't know, green for this one. It worked. Nice, rejuvenate. This one's kind of interesting. Removes all magical aging, but subtracts one from your seven primary statistics permanently. So, um, if you got to, an, if you ever were in a situation where someone was like magically aged to 100 and their stats were just horrible, you could drink that potion, their age would go back to whatever it was supposed to be. Um, I mean, this will go up over years. If, if you play the game for a long time, we'll get older. But um, your stats would at least be back to normal. So that could be interesting. Got one more. Although I'm sure there's a couple we've missed. Let's try the purple. It worked. Perfect. Essence of luck. Not my favorite because luck kind of sucks. Now, what have we got here? We've got eight black potions. Accuracy, endurance, intellect, might, speed, luck. We're missing a primary stat, right? Accuracy, endurance. There's no... 
Did that all of them? Sorry, luck is one. Speed two, might three, intellect four, endurance five, accuracy six. There's no personality, right? Yeah. So I did miss one. I missed at least one black potion, and it's one of the white ones. Perhaps the 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 stone skin, maybe. Um, plus another color. I, I know there's at least one black for every white, but sometimes there's doubles. And I might just look it up because there's a lot of combos to test to figure that out. Point is, we've got all of these, and I actually might try to make four of each of them before I use them. Because um, what will happen right now is if I use them, um, I, won't, I might not remember who I gave it to. And then if you make another black potion, you kind of waste it on the same person. For now, I'll just leave them. We've already wasted 15 minutes, so I'll do more brewing later on, but that'll cover it for now. Anyway, we've also got this guy, Town Portal. So let's show you guys how this works. Cast it. This is our world map, finally, you get to see. <clears throat> Sorry. It looks like not every single town is here. There is like, you know, Castle Iron Fist is somewhere in here, but it's not shown. Somewhere around here is Bootleg Bay. Or up there, I guess, is Bootleg Bay. So there's a couple areas you can't actually go to. But of these, we want to go to Freehaven first. <laughs> so, um, Paradise Valley. I believe Sweetwater was somewhere over here, our first village. White Cap is Snows. Sand is, well, Dragon Sand. What do you think? Also, what do you think that is? <laughs> Everything over here is bad. <laughs> in fact, most everywhere that's not in this little corner it will kill us. But um, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. So welcome to Freehaven. This place is huge, so I might just spend today's episode exploring this place. This is kind of like the capital city. In fact, this is where the council is and all that stuff. So I can't even remember how to get here normally other than walking. There's probably some ship that takes you here if you come on the right day, but uh, for the most part, Town Portal is the way to get around. So let's have a drink. Oh, this one's nice. It doesn't kill you. Lucky Dawes. I think Dawes is our, our fountain tester. <laughs> Also, if you can hear it, we've got some new music in the background. It's kind of nice. How about some Another training? academy for training. So let's see, how am I going to go through this place? This place, this town is really huge. I'm trying to think of an efficient way of showing you guys everything. Also, now that we've got this town portal dude, it's smart to go to every town and pick up horseshoes. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Now, who should I give these horseshoes to is the question. Um... I might just give them to Dawes. The, the, the mage tends to go through a lot of skill points to get his magic mastered. Um, on the other hand, you know, there's so much stuff to learn just everywhere. Could give you meditation too. Oh, there's just so much stuff. I'll just hold on to them for now. Um, you can also see where this travel will take you. Silver Cove. No, nope, we don't want to go there. And if we did, we would take less time to just use our town portal. The uh, NPC dude can only cast it once per day, but that's still shorter than wait, four days of travel. We've got the Sorcerer's Shop. Let's have a look. Looking for something special. So now we're getting into some probably quite high quality merchandise. Yeah. That one, I mean, these are pretty darn good. If I had enough money, I might buy this. Personality for Pyro, Might for War Raider. You know, some of these are starting to get pretty good. We're starting to get to the better towns, better shops. Heck, this one sells you a black potion if you don't want to try to make it. You can find them if you just... Uh, you know, want to pay for it. And they're not even that expensive, but it's just kind of random luck if you'll ever find the one you want. Look at this. Ring of Might. That'd be perfect. Everybody could have one of those. So anyway, yeah, there's lots of stuff to buy. Um, let's see, where am I? Check these buildings out. Greetings. So, Faller of Bow. That sounds like someone bad. Don't want to talk to them. Greetings. Quartermaster. Which ones we got? Greetings. The Mystic. Hmm. <laughs> Can sometimes, if you want to talk to all these people, they'll give you hints on where to go. I like randomly just clicking Pleased on Pleased to meet you. The Gate Master, yeah, that's what we wanted, but we already got one. So, it, I think there, I think this is guaranteed to be a Gate Master, so if you can get to Free Haven, you'll always find one there, I think. It seems like that makes sense to me. Pleased to meet you. Spell Master. Hello. Carpenters. We might need Carpenters later. Want to be a little bit careful about not getting into battles. If we go, like you don't want to leave town essentially, or you might get into some trouble here. What's this? Alchemy and incantation. See anything you like? Another alchemist shop. Amazing, hey. Start getting some cool stuff. I'm just showing this off for you guys. I'm not going to be buying anything today. Not like, oh, that looks so tempting though. Plus ten might. Oh, that'd be great. Plus seven might amulet. Yes. We need more money, guys. Someone needs to give me some money. Um. 
How are you? What have we got here? Potters and a kid talking about a sewer entrance. Yeah, there might be a thieves guild under Freehaven. That is true. How are you? Merchants. Actually, they're nice to have along too. Um, depends on how much he gives you, but uh, let's see, what does it say? Six points isn't a whole lot, but um, if you had it at like master, that would count like plus 18 or something. So um, that could be useful. That could be Hello. useful. Gongs? Ah, this guy will pay for any gongs we find later on. So keep that in How mind. Are you? Expert swordsmanship. There you go. Another one of those teachers. There's generally two expert Pleased teachers to meet you. per skill. Hopefully I'm not winding about too, too, uh, un too strangely that you can follow where I'm going. Does this house not have a door? Oh, there it is. Hello. Oh, sorry. The gong guy. I already talked to him. Oh, this one. That house has got nothing in it. Okay. Strange house. Greetings. Quest. Uh, sure. We'll pick it up. It's no, there's no harm getting lots of quests. So this one uh, uncovered a powerful artifact, the Mordred, which I believe is a artifact dagger. So Dawes, this is something you would be very interested in. Um, raiders attacked the caravan and stole it. Saw it uh, being headed to somewhere west of Castle Temper we've never heard of. He would really like it back. And... Um, he would like some money for it. Or maybe we would just keep it, because it's a cool dagger. You never know. Uh, we could do stuff like that. Pleased to meet you. Expert merchant. There we go. I knew there'd be one of these around. This was the main reason I came here. And I'm going to spend okay. all my money. <laughs> so um, now, Commander, essentially we just doubled your merchant skills. So now he's up to plus eight. Which should make a bit of a difference when I'm shopping. Unfortunately, we're kind of broke. But I'll explore the rest of Freehaven just to show you what's going on. But... Um, Okay, we were here before. Let's head uh, sort of eastwards this time. This is an absolutely huge city as far Pleased as... Pleased uh, to meet you. Oh, here we go. Fire Guild. Perfect. Oh, never mind. We already have that one. <laughs> Greetings. Uh, Air Guild. No, we already have that one. I think we're missing like Earth or something. Pleased to meet you. Oh, look. A Free Haven sewer. Yeah, we're not going down right now, though. We've already got water. So where's the Earth Guild? Is this house maybe? How are you? Earth Guild. There we go. Thank you. So now we have all four elemental guilds. Uh, we're hooked up. Did I go? Did I go here already? Pleased to meet yeah, you. Of course I did. Um, just looking in the distance to make sure there's nothing over there to kill us. I think this. Actually, you know, I should be on double speed, shouldn't I? This will be the high council. Let's have a little chit chat. So there are six high council people, whatever you want to call them. Um, and right now, none of them, <laughs> none of them want us to go to see the oracle. So you can talk to them. And they'll only let you go if their lord specifically says to. So even the one from uh, Lord Humphrey Wilbert, whoever it is, is this guy, maybe? Yeah. Even Slicker Silvertongue won't let us go because we're not good enough buddies with him, even though we've met. So we have to do quests for the lords, and then these guys will let us speak to the oracle, which is sort of what we were instructed to do to figure out what the heck's going on. And that will take up most of the game, unfortunately. <laughs> so that's why it's an open world. Pleased to meet you. Etheric's Tome, what's this? Something necromancer? No, we're we're in no position to be fighting necromancers. Trust me. How are you? Um, some kid. Harpy feathers we can sell here for ten bucks. It's not really worth much. It's kind of disappointing. We got a tavern. That's Pleased fun. Nice to see you. Nothing important there right now. Greetings. Another way into the sewer. There's a few. And bards. You know, I kind of remember bards being cool. What did bards do? Bonus to your reputation. Yeah, sometimes you might need something like that. If you need to talk to people. So a bard you can pick up and suddenly you're more likable. How are you? Identification mastery. There you go. you got to keep this in mind for later, Pyro. This is the only guy that can teach that in the game. So, Good deal, good deal. Maybe that's what I'll do. Is when it's time to get masteries, I'll ask you guys, where do you go to get your mastery? See if you remember. Hello. <laughs> Another sewer entrance. Why does everybody have sewer entrances? So we'll get 500 bucks for teeth. You have to be careful sometimes. Um... Some of these objects that you can sell, if you sell them, you actually get a reputation penalty. So you have to be a little bit cautious. White liquid. I want to get this right, so let's just double check. White liquid. Oh, they do keep track of where you can sell stuff too, so that's cool. Um, white liquid is luck, so it doesn't really matter too much. Okay. Blue liquid. I have no idea. I've completely forgotten from, yes, from last episode when I was trying to remember. Um... 
blue is personality, so I'll give that to Pyro for now. Do, do, do. Another orange one. Again, I've forgotten already. Orange is intellect, so it's perfect for Dawes. Because he's the only person that really needs intellect. Actually, you know what that reminds me of? Seeing as I have this intellect black potion, you're going to be a bit weaker for it. But um, that's okay for now. Um, I think you'd uh, enjoy having 46 intellect. So let's do that. Essence of intellect, bam. There you go. And you know, while I'm thinking about it, I'll probably, you guys try to remember for me. Maybe I'll ask you guys later. Um, I'll give the personality one, or I didn't make the personality one. All right. Let's just take some obvious guesses. Like, I probably would give the endurance potion to Dawes because he's going to get the least HP. So that will help him. Okay, so Dawes, you're up to two black potions. Um, I would probably give the Might Potion to the Knight, so War Raider gets that one. Hopefully I can remember. Speed, see speed and accuracy I'm definitely going to give to everyone. So I don't want to waste those because I don't know who I would remember. Uh, luck doesn't matter at all really. In fact I might not even use the Luck ones because they subtract from accuracy. Yeah. Alright, so we just did uh, Might. Uh, endurance and intellect and I'll need more endurance for everybody I need more might for everybody and uh, stuff like that but anyway there you guys go a little bit more now war raider I'm sorry but you're really not very smart anymore <laughs> you're all the way down to one intellect <laughs> don't ask him any hard questions um, no we're not fighting those things those are tougher than lizard men and uh, I'm not going that way let's finish off this town get a little bit more experience Expert Disarm. I think we already have that, right? Yeah, we already have that. No big deal. Um, we can go up. Closed. It's closed. Oh, another one of those Buccaneer Den type places. Um, no, so going over that bridge is out of town. We've got another well. What do you think? Should we drink from it? Whoa! Two might. It was only from... Oh, you know what this is? I forgot. This is one of those up to a certain level only type potion so it probably goes up to 14 or something max yeah so there you guys go you're a little bit tougher even after I gave you that potion that decreased it yeah so there are gonna be some wells that I'll never remember what they do because they just sort of raise one stat up to a certain level so that you don't have to worry about it so like if I find the intellect one I'll be able to raise war raider up to like 15 it may have been the luck one in uh, new score was the same thing and it just raises everybody up to 12 or 14 or something I can't remember the mechanics all that well Anyway, let's finish up here. Well, finish up. Let's continue exploring. Weapons in the land. That's a pretty nice looking sword. Holy smokers. Yeah, that's a good one for sure. Champion Sword of Sparks. Wow. Sorry, nobody uses a sword here, but I almost wish we did because that's pretty what nice. What do you need? I'll teach All you. All right. We don't need any more training. We're okay. Thanks, dude. Let's check out some more Pleased houses. Pleased to meet you. This guy looks kind of neat. Shield defense. Well, actually, you know, if I had more money, there's a couple people that could use that, but we're kind of poor now. I think these are the mage guilds, maybe? Mine. Guild of Mines. No, we don't have money for that. Um, I am looking. There are Whoa. mage guilds somewhere. Well, that. <laughs> what the heck kind of hat is that? <laughs> uh, that's, that's odd. A little bit strange. Okay. How are you? Looks like we might have been here already. Hello. The duper. What does he do? Merchant skill plus eight. Reputation decreased all the way down. Ouch. So, people don't like him very much. Let's go check these far off buildings. Oh, a destroyed temple. Well, that's too bad. Maybe we'll get a quest for that later. Hello. Like, maybe here. Um. Oh no, this guy's got some weird theory about undead. So he wants the, uh, oh. Uh, he wants us to find the remains of the first Lich, Etheric the Mad. Uh, that that sounds great, but um, I, I can't imagine we're going to be doing that anytime soon. <laughs> we haven't even killed a normal How Lich are yet. Okay, a stone cutter. How are you? Oh, these guys look fancy. La dee da, fancy dancy. Water magic expert, not the one I needed for for Dawes. Hello. Jack Van Imp. Fire magic expert. Again, not the right one. I'm a little bit concerned about running over that way. I might be able to make it to those those buildings, but I kind of have a feeling there's going to be archers and enemies nearby, so we're not going to go there just yet. 
Um, spirit yeah. magic. magic. We're also up to the point where we'll get better spells here. Turn undead, raise dead. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, how much does it cost? Only 5,400. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll want that later. For now, I can't afford it. Sorry. Pick up a herb. Okay. And... Do -do -do. How are you? Amber, this guy will buy amber for you. Did we know that already? Hello. This guy will buy floor leaf clovers from you, if you didn't know. Here are our magic guilds. Yeah. There we go. The so let's just show you guys. Haha, -ha, that's what we need. Fly. Totally dependent on your skill for how long it lasts, but even with a few points, we'll be okay. Shield should be nice. Actually, I was thinking that might be a handy skill for not getting killed by those archers. Um, implosion, yeah, that one's pretty good. Um, what else have we got? Featherfall, we already know. Starburst, that's what it does if you're looking at the scroll. Each da each po each star that falls does 20 damage plus one per skill, and it uh, drops a lot of stars. Only works outside though. Also, I just noticed right yellow. That means we've alerted some enemies. Uh, I'm hoping no one's coming over to kill us right now. Anyway, fire guild, this will be where we get the good fire spells. <laughs> Incinerate, this is like the best fire spell in the game. 1 to 15 damage per point in fire magic. Might not sound like a lot, but imagine if we had like a fire magic of 10 or 15. This thing will do hundreds of damage. Um, meteor shower, yeah that one's fun. Uh, fire blast, isn't that much different than fire bolt by the looks of things. Oh wait, never mind. It is a little different. I'm just not used to that spell. Haven't used it much. Um, Torchlight protection, fireball. There's your classic that we uh, definitely want. Two grand. I wish I had a little bit more money. I would buy this right now. Um, yeah, there's there's lots of other spells we just can't see yet. So um, fireball is in fact the one I want. That one seems to be not a place you can get into. Another, this place, this town is so huge, there's actually two different uh, coach services. This one takes you to Blackshire. Blackshire is not a very friendly place, though. How are you? Body guild we have already. We're almost done exploring this town, I promise. Greetings. Mind guild we have already. I think we've got most of the nice guilds to see now. Ya. Mind magic expert. Now nah, we can get them all in New Sorpical, it doesn't really matter. Water. Nice. Water spells, let's just have a look. Poison spray. Eh, that looks kind of lame. Lloyd's Beacon. This is one of the other amazing spells. As well as Town Portal, this is another one of those ways so you can uh, quickly get around the world. You read about it if you want. It's hard to explain. Enchant Item I really need as well. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to give Dawes Water Expert next. Just so we can get Enchant Item up to stronger. Um, this is going to be how we make some more money. If in case you're wondering. Ice Bolt, yeah, there's a lot of spells here that would be nice, but uh, we're going to have to take some money. How about you uh, drink from there? Oh, <laughs> sorry Dawes, now you're drunk. Now we're all drunk. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> what does drunk do? Well, you can look at your stats. Everyone's lucky, but uh, that's not good for much else. <laughs> I, you might get some funny interactions with hey, people, too. Hey, you over there. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, you. Uh, we have not killed anyone. I don't. I don't remember killing anybody. The worst thing we hey, did was a quest. You over there. So anyway, people probably like us a little bit less now that we're trying. How are you? <laughs> that doesn't seem fair. How are you? Body magic expert. Greetings. So, all the different mind ones. I think that's gonna do it for New Sorpagal. And I'm sad to say that we've done an entire episode without uh, <laughs> really accomplishing much. But we've explored another, the largest town. Pleased to meet for you. For the most part. And um, <laughs> we've got Merchant Expert, was, which was very important. Um, <laughs> sorry, we also got drunk off of well water by one of the, one of the guilds. <laughs> All right. Hello. Um, oh, also for interest's sake, I'll show you where this uh, boat takes you. Just so. You Welcome see. aboard. So, okay, this probably gives you a tip if you were if you were patient in this town of mist. If you kept coming back to the boat every day. There would have to be one day that takes you to Freehaven. So that would be the way to get here if you didn't get Town Portal. That makes sense. Alright guys, I think we're going to take a rest in the inn. I thought there was an inn down here by the... Uh, yeah, there we go. And then tomorrow, 
we're going to cast our gate spell and go somewhere else again next episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And next episode, we'll get to some killing again. <laughs> See you later, guys.